Hi everyone, and welcome to Arts Ignite Now. I'm your host today, Rob Morrison, and in a moment we're going to have a lesson on music from Lauren Molina. But before we do, I'd like to invite you to join me in some physical and vocal warm-ups that will connect our body and our voice. They seem like two separate systems, but actually they're connected together by our breath. So breath is really important. So let's start by checking in on our breath. How is your breath feeling right now? Let's take a deep inhale through our nose. Exhale through your mouth. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Very good. Now, what if sound just came from that same impulse to inhale and exhale? What if you weren't thinking about trying to sing or sound any particular pretty way? What if it was just that impulse to make sound? Well, that's called touch of sound, and it sounds like this. Ha. Ha hum. Repeat after me. Ha. Ha hum. Very good, it's just the impulse to make sound. You're not trying to sound any particular way. You're just connecting your breath with your voice. Ha, ha hum, very good. All right, next we're gonna roll down our spines. I invite you to do this with me either standing or from a seated position. So slowly, one vertebrae at a time, we're gonna let our heads go. Rolling down our spine, letting our shoulders go, rib cage goes. We're letting go of all the tension in our upper bodies. Give it a shake down here. <laughs> Nod your head yes if you like. Shake your head no if you like. And now from this position, let's do a touch of sound. So repeat after me. Ha. Ha hum. Just, this is a release. Let it go. Ha hum. Very good, now let's slowly roll up our spines one vertebrae at a time, stacking them up until gently our head floats up. Very good. Now these warm-ups can be useful for people who are actors, who are singers, or simply speakers. And speaking to us next is Lauren Molina. I'm Lauren Molina. I'm a Broadway singer, actor, musician, and today I'm going to teach you about music. What is music and how can we think about music as it relates to nature? Well, music is composed of many different elements. The first one being the melody, which is just the tune. Let's think of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Can you sing it with me? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Okay, great. So imagine a little bird sitting there singing this melody, and then he's joined by a friend, or maybe another friend, or maybe a group of friends. When there are two or more notes sung at the same time, that creates a harmony. When you think of something that's harmonious, it all works together, creating beautiful music. All right, now let's do something that's extra challenging. I'm gonna sing a harmony to your melody. So you're gonna stick to the melody of Twinkle Twinkle. We've been practicing it, right? That's you, and I'm going to sing a harmony. Let's try it together. All right, the next element is rhythm. I got rhythm, I got music. Rhythm is just beats in a tempo. So you can speed it up or slow it down. It's where the notes fall. And oftentimes we think of rhythm being uh, held by a drummer or a percussionist. And we have percussion built into us, right? We have our feet to stomp or our hands to clap. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. The next thing we're going to talk about is timbre. Timbre is what gives 
the notes, their characteristics, gives the music its quality. So in nature, what can we think of? We can think of a roaring lion, maybe a little baby mouse, or we can think of a squawking bird, <laughs> or we can think of the ocean, which is legato, water flowing. Or we can think of a woodpecker, staccato. All of these different dynamic elements are found in nature, but are also found in music. So when we're singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, what's the appropriate way? Is it fortissimo and staccato? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Does that sound right to you? Probably not. So maybe if we think of it like a, a lullaby, so maybe more legato, more like water flowing, right? Let's try to make it smooth and sort of mezzo forte, which is like a medium. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, that sounded good, yes. Now, do you know what pitch is? Just kidding, that's one kind of pitch. But the other kind of pitch in music is where the note falls. High? To low. I can't sing that low, but think of maybe a giant elephant or a hippopotamus. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> Can you sing that low? How I wonder what you are. Or up really high. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. <laughs> The next couple of elements are silence and structure. Silence are the quiet parts in the song when there's no sound at all. Nothing happens. You're just waiting for the next music to drop. And that actually can be quite powerful. A rest is a moment where it's the absence of sound. And that exists in nature sometimes too. If you go into a very peaceful meadow and you're just sitting there all alone without any sound around, if you're not in the big city, it's really peaceful and it can be very calming. And also the structure of the song, which is like, you know, the repeats and the contrast. So we go twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Do you hear how musically it repeats? Yeah. All right, let's review all of the musical elements that we learned today. We got melody, we got harmony, which is two or more notes being sung at the same time. We got Rhythm, which is the placement of sounds in time. We got timbre, which is the quality or the characteristic of the music or the note or the sound. We have pitch, which is low, low to <laughs> And then finally we have silence and then the structure of the music. All right, lastly, I wanna leave you with a fun little game to remember different intervals. The interval is the distance or the gaps between the notes in a scale. So here, in a Western scale, you have eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And I'm gonna teach you a little trick to remember all of the different intervals. So here's a major second. One, two, one, frera, shaka. One, two, one, major second. One, three, one. I remember this one with do a deer, a female deer. One, three, one, three. Can you sing that with me? Do a deer, a female deer. Yes, one, three, one, three. That's a major third. A major fourth sounds like this. One, four, one. Sing it with me. One, four, one. And can you think of a song that sounds like that? Here comes the bride. Now, what about a perfect fifth? One, five, one. One, five, one. We've been singing it all day. Twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle. Now, one, six, one. My body lies over the ocean. My body, one, six, one. Now, one, seven, one. This one is not as common, but 
Um, it is actually in a really cool 80s rock song called Take On Me. Take on me, take on me. And then finally, one, eight, one. That is an octave, one, eight, one. It's the same note, an octave apart. So that's one to eight. Can you think of a song? Oh, I can. It's one of my favorites. Somewhere over the rainbow. Can you sing that with me? Somewhere over the rainbow. Somewhere. That's one eight, an octave. Thank you so much for joining me today. Making music, learning about music, talking about nature. You rock. Have a great one. Thank you, Lauren, for that awesome lesson on music. Now that we've all been sitting for a few minutes and listening to music and singing along, why don't we check in with our breath? See how our breath is doing. Let's take in a nice deep breath and exhale. Let it all go. Take in another one and let it all go. How does your breath feel? Different from before? Different from how we started? Uh, let's finish out today with a nice touch of sound. Repeat after me. Ha. Huh. Ha hum. Ha hum. Very good. Very nice, connected, relaxed sound we're making. By the way, touch of sound and some of the exercises I was going through today with you uh, come from Kristen Linklater, who wrote this excellent book, Freeing the Natural Voice. I highly recommend checking it out. On behalf of Arts Ignite Now, we thank you for joining us today. Have an excellent rest of your day.